Hello, my name is Paris Clough and welcome to Financial Self-Reliance. This is the first in a series of videos that I'm going to do this month for Life Insurance Awareness Month. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of the videos in the series. I've been a licensed insurance agent for almost 20 years. I've trained dozens of agents, I've run my own agency, and I've helped hundreds of clients with their insurance needs. So I have a lot of experience. So I'd like to share as much of that with you as possible. In this video, we'll be talking about what is insurance and why you should own it. We insure our houses, our cars, our phones, but when it comes to our most important asset, we're really missing the mark. You are your most important asset and should be insured first and foremost. Let's get into it. Your mindset changes everything. Welcome back. If you'd like to develop the mindset and the belief system of the wealthy and learn the skills necessary to live within your means and then grow your means so that you can make it to retirement on time and with enough money to make it last and maybe a little early, then you've come to the right place. There are two simple financial questions to ask in life. The first one is what if I live too long? Meaning you want to make sure you have enough money to live comfortably for the rest of your life. The second question though is a little tougher. That question is, what if I die too soon? This question is especially critical if you have other people that rely on you financially. How will your family and loved ones manage after you die? It's a subject no one really wants to talk about, but if someone depends on you financially, it's a subject you can't avoid. There are many types of life insurance to choose from, but the idea of life insurance is the same no matter which type you choose. Life insurance policies pay a lot of cash to your family members after you die, allowing your loved ones to remain financially secure. Life insurance is a promise to pay a large sum of money to your family members and to someone that you designate as a beneficiary in the event that you die in exchange for a small monthly premium or payment. Life insurance isn't for you, it's for them, your loved ones that you leave behind. Which is actually why most people wonder why it's called life insurance. If it only works when you die, shouldn't it be called death insurance? Life insurance proceeds can be used to pay for things like groceries, everyday expenses, mortgages, debts, and any other essential expenditure. It can also be used to fund the future. If you have any children and you'd like to pay for their college expenses, or maybe give them a jump start in life, or maybe even pay for a wedding. With life insurance, the goals and dreams that you have for your children will carry on even after your passing. The bottom line is that when you pass away, the bills keep coming. Imagine if your spouse or partner died today, or someone that you loved, maybe a family member, how would you feel? How would that affect you financially? Would you be able to go back to work right after the funeral or would you want to take time off to grieve? You may even want to rethink what you're doing in life and have a career change. Your loved ones are going to feel the same way if you passed away. I'm married with five children and if I was to die today, I would want my wife to remarry. However, I would want her to remarry for the right reasons. I would want her to be able to take the time necessary to find someone that would love her as much as I did and who would love the children as much as I do. I don't want her to have to make a quick decision to marry the first person that comes along who has a paycheck or a good job just because she has no money and she's destitute and she has to make a decision quickly based on the number of bills that are coming in that she has to pay. Were I to pass away, I would want my wife to remarry, but I want her to do it for the right reasons. And I'm sure you would want that for your spouse and for your children as well. While we are alive, we do a lot of things to take care of our loved ones, but all too often we forget to think about what would happen to those that we care for if the unthinkable should happen and we should die too soon. One day I was sitting in the living room of a young couple who just had a baby. I was talking to the father of that child about protecting his wife and his child in case the unthinkable happened, in case he passed away too soon. And he told me that he was more concerned about having a bigger radio in his truck, about having bigger tires on his car, than he was about protecting his family with life insurance. And that really made me sad to think about that. Where I live in Central California, they say that the city that I live in is the number one city. Well, that's kind of cool because everybody wants to be the number one city, right? Well, number one for what? That's the thing. We're the number one city for car washes to pay for funeral expenses. I don't think that's something that you want to be known as number one for. Let me ask you a question. When you pass away, do you want your relatives to have to work hard to be able to raise enough money to pay for your funeral expenses? Or would you like them to be able to be comfortable and relaxed and grieve for you properly? I think it's sad that when people don't plan properly, they add insult to injury by making people work to raise money to be able to pay for their funeral expenses. When with just a few dollars a day, they could have avoided all of that extra heartache. 
Click the like button if you're getting value out of this video so far. Another important consideration is that none of us are getting off this earth alive. We all die someday. And if you plan for it properly, you can leave your loved ones with a legacy of abundance, which can actually be more than money. If you've worked really hard to build wealth for your family through investments and through real estate and through savings and retirement planning, then life insurance is going to play a critical role in your financial plan. It's going to help protect those assets. It's also going to help protect your family from having to make desperate or critical decisions after your passing. It will also protect your estate from estate taxes and inheritance taxes. They say there's only two guarantees in life. The first is death and the second is taxes. Well, when you combine those two into one thing, which is death taxes, you'd better watch out. So here's the question of the day. Do you have life insurance? And if so, did you get it through your employer or is it something that you got on your own? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Most Americans need life insurance and many of those that have it need to update their coverage. Too few are properly insured. Over 40% of Americans don't even have any life insurance at all. And 35% of Americans say that they're stressed out and have a lot of anxiety when they think about what would happen to their family should they pass away too soon. There's a simple answer. It's called life insurance. Over 30% of families surveyed indicated that if the primary breadwinner were to pass away too soon, they would have a significant financial hardship within just one month. And those that do have life insurance are underinsured to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars. According to the Hinnerman Group, 48% of people who die every single day have no life insurance, and 21% of people don't have enough. That leaves approximately 31% of Americans who are doing the right thing with this important and critical financial tool. In preparing for next week's video, I'd like for you to consider this question. If you were to die today, who would pay for your funeral expenses? Please don't be one of those people. Do the right thing. Make sure that your loved ones don't have to suffer unnecessarily because of improper planning. For just a few dollars a day, you can avoid a lot of unnecessary heartache. I hope I've delivered on my promise with this video to share with you what life insurance is and to give you some good solid reasons why you should own it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. And while you're waiting for the next video in the series, go ahead and watch the video that I did last week on passive income. I think you'll like it. And learn how to live within your... And... I've said this a thousand times. Make sure that you subscribe...